All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Sid, I'm a second year computer science major at Georgia Tech, and I thought I would take you through what I keep in my backpack. It's basically what I use every day of the week as I go to classes, the library, this apartment, whatever. Now, first of all, let's start off by talking about the actual backpack itself. I got this off Amazon like three years ago for $40. It's pretty good, it's a Kenneth Cole backpack, wow. And as you can see, it's been used quite a bit. There's like holes all over it, but it's maintained its shape really well, which I love. And it helps me carry the ton of things that I have to every day. Now let's start with what's in the side pockets. Obviously a water bottle, you gotta stay hydrated. Uh, you're gonna be walking a lot on campus. Great water, always keep a water bottle. Also an umbrella because it's gonna rain a lot and I just like to be prepared so I don't end up drenched and soggy. Next up, let's talk about what I actually use to study. Now, a lot of people like to use iPads and write everything down there. I would also love to do that, but the thing is I am broke, so subscribe to the YouTube channel. So instead, I just use this nice journal to keep track of my to-dos. I also just use it to do like gratitude journaling or whatever, which I don't really do. Mostly just keep track of to-dos and it's great. I love just scratching things off on the to-do list. It makes me feel accomplished even if I haven't really done anything productive that day. I also take notes on paper for most classes. For some classes that are a little bit more humanities focused or more so essay focused, I'll just take them online on like Notion or Obsidian. But for like math classes and statistics classes, I do that on paper because it just makes me feel smarter. And it's also just easier to take math notes on paper. So if you're thinking about, you know, getting an iPad, do that because it's great for note taking. Right, Yeshis? Very good, says the cameraman. But for right now, I'm just using pen and paper. I also carry around a book with me all the time, usually because like, I'm trying to get rid of my screen time. I spend a lot of time on this phone, which is an iPhone 13, and I want to spend more time reading. So I've started to carry around a book with me. Right now I'm reading Stephen King's On Writing, which is kind of just a memoir by him on how to write a good book or just how to write well in general, which is kind of important for me because I want to write better scripts for these videos. Not that I script all videos, but I also want to just write better in general. I feel like it's a valuable life skill and that's why I'm reading this book. I also carry around a Kindle in the odd cases where I don't have a physical book on me. I do like reading physical books better, but Kindles are great. They weigh almost nothing and you can carry around a bunch of books with you. So I oftentimes will have a book on this as well. Next up, let's talk about the other cool things in my backpack. I'm not gonna show you my laptop just yet. That's the big reveal. But I also carry around a nice little pencil pouch like everybody else in college, except the people that use iPads. And I have a very prized possession in here that I hopefully didn't lose since yesterday. Nope, I didn't lose it. I still have it. My Pentel Graph Gear 1000? It's a 1000. Pentel Graph Gear 1000. I guess Yashas has the better version. But this is a great mechanical pencil. I've had it for four years, and I honestly think this is the only pencil I've never lost. It's great, writes really well, refillable lead, environmentally friendly, and I haven't needed any pencil since I bought this. Now, I also usually write in pen. Right now I'm using this Uniball Signo in blue and black ink, but my best preferred pen is a Pilot G2, which I don't have on it. But this pencil is really great. It's like $10 and you'll use it forever, so go buy one. Now, besides my writing utensils, I also carry around two calculators. Now, why do I carry around two calculators? Well, this one is a TI Inspire CX, and some classes don't let you use that because they're very advanced and they have like computer algebra systems. So this one is just like a basic scientific calculator that you can use to just do your basic like sine, cosine, trig, all of that without having access to like the integrals and derivatives that you can do on this calculator. They're both great and I really love them. Next up, one of the big things I need as a YouTuber, a very famous YouTuber, is lots of storage space. So I carry around this Samsung one terabyte SSD. It's really nice. It's pretty compact, very, very resistant. I dropped that on the sofa because I'm still scared of dropping it, but apparently it's very safe. And I use this to store all my footage for videos. I use this to store like documents for school as I transfer between my different operating systems, which we'll talk about shortly. It's great. I also carry around this power bank. It's 10,000 milliamp hours. Um, I use this to charge my phone, calculator, whatever. I'm out of my room a lot, so I do need to have like some power on the go so I'm not caught unawares and then end up with a phone that's out of charge and being unable to contact anybody. That wouldn't be good. So this is another essential that I have. Obviously, when I have like these power banks and all that, I need like cables. So I have a USB-A to USB-C. 
as well as just a plain charger head and a plain charger cable in case I need to charge something. Now, I've teased you guys enough because I've went through everything except the actual big thing that any CS major needs to use, and that's my laptop. My laptop is an MSI GE75 Raider. It's pretty great in terms of performance. 17 inches, uh, pretty big screen, which I like because then I don't really have to use an external display, although I still do. 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 2060Ti, and a one terabyte hard drive with a 500 gigabyte SSD. My 500 gigabyte SSD is basically what I have my Windows operating system on, and the one terabyte uh, hard drive is what I have Ubuntu on. Ubuntu I use mostly for software development and coding and coding projects, and then my Windows drive I basically use for gaming and just video editing. Like the video you're seeing right now was edited on my Windows partition. And then I also play video games on this. I don't do that as much anymore, but I should because I don't really have anything else to do with my life. Now, the bad thing about this laptop is that it only has like two hours of battery life when it's not plugged in. So I have to lug around my charger all the time. And the charger for this laptop is very fat, very fat. And along with the laptop, this ends up weighing like eight pounds, I think. And that is horrible on my back. And I feels like I'm carrying around a ton of rocks all the time. So if you are considering buying a laptop for college, then I suggest you also weigh in like how much your laptop actually weighs compared to its performance, because you don't wanna be lugging around a PC with you all the time. Sometimes it's nice to just have like a nice small portable laptop. I think that's basically all I have, except for my mouse. Now this is a really old Steel Series mouse that I kind of carry around with me just so I can edit videos here or just use it because I hate using the trackpad. I also have a better mouse at my desk. This isn't what I use on my desk. This is old, dirty, but it gets the job done and it helps me finish editing videos really quickly when I'm in the library or just code, whatever. I don't know. Use an external mouse, trackpad stuff unless they're on a Mac. That's all I really have to show for you. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff that I just emptied out on this couch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.